It's interesting to look back now because I didn't realize at the time how young the school was. New World School of the Arts has a special uh, place in, in my heart. As a founder of the school, it's kind of like with a parent, you know, the most memorable day is your baby is born, and that was back in the 80s. Stunning to me, the talent here. I just amazed it, and thrilled, frankly, about how good everything is here. Just seeing from the beginning to today, has been an amazing empowerment for students who have come through that program. I have many memorable moments at New World School of the Arts as an alum, as a former faculty member, and now as a dean of music. When I was in high school, and I was remembering what my teacher was telling me about how looking at a score, a musical score, teaches you so much about not only what you have to do, but your surroundings and how you fit in with, with the world around you. Uh, Dr. Andai was uh, actually uh, a student of mine for a period of time uh, when he was in the gifted program as, an, uh, as a youngster in third grade. So a lot of memories, a lot of positive thoughts and great things to think about when New World uh, comes to mind. Getting greedy with their printing because they don't... It was an amazing for. opportunity learning about the programs and seeing the academic excellence but the most exciting part was the first Rising Stars performance when you saw the, the passion in the kids and their true talent. It was so inspiring and uh, just a, a blessing to see. And I was in awe of the show. It was like being in Broadway. It was amazing, I was blown away. I just kept thinking about the talent and couldn't believe that I was working at this school, magnificent school. It was a remarkable transformation these young people made as they stepped on stage and those performances are forever in my mind and my heart and it, to this day it's a joy, that's my greatest joy is seeing our students take the stage. I think that if every child had that opportunity, <laughs> they would know how to read, write, they would, they would do all the academics gladly because you have discovered what they're best at. As a principal of the high school um, at New World School of the Arts, I am so proud and some of the, the best moments are when student accomplishments come around, just like our two presidential scholars um, from the class of 2016, both uh, musical theater students who went on to study their craft. And one day a silent benefactor came forward and said that we would, they would cover the studios in perpetuity. So that was like the dream moment at New World. This year in particular, um, we're even more proud to see that the dream that started as just a little seed has grown to this program of national and international renown. And when that phone rings and I ask students what they're up to, I'm always amazed. They're doing television, they're doing Broadway, they're doing regional theater, and then they come back and they teach our students. And I think that's one of the most exciting things about the college. You're feeling a way that you've never felt before. The culture of the school is uh, uh, one of the uh, special things about it, and it just has to maintain that and keep on doing what it's doing. You think about the accomplishments of these kids Think about all the things that they've done on Broadway and the art art world. I mean, you just can't believe how, how good these teachers are and how great these students are. Each New World School Gala is, uh, is superb, and every year I'm just uh, blown away by uh, the talent that we have at the New World School. I'm bringing the warmest greetings from the University of Florida and so like, saying, yay, 30 years, what an outstanding achievement. For the 30th anniversary, I hope the school receives all the accolades it deserves. And what I wish for the school is to continue its success and to become much bigger uh, and successful than it, is, than it is now. The first 30 years have been incredible. But as I look toward the next 30 years, what we will bring to the arts, what we will bring to the cultural community, not just here in Florida and Miami-Dade County, but this country and this world, through our dancers, through our visual artists, through our musicians, and of course, our amazing theater students. It's going to be incredible.